Hello again everybody, just a quick video this time talking about the Church of St Nicholas the Wonder Worker in Karelian District in Salme. Now you can tell straight off the bat that this destroyed church in the Karelian region uh, shares some pretty distinct Tartarian architecture. Obviously, as as is with most of these by today's day, the the structure itself is entirely destroyed. What is interesting, and you will see in a lot of these photos, is these metal rods that run the length of the building. Metal rods that could help explain the purpose of these buildings and how they power themselves. So the Church of St Nicholas the Wonder Worker is in the Salmi village in the Karelian district. It was located just on the shores of Lake Lagoda in the most westernly part of Russia in what was once Finland but now borders Finland. You can see the inside the, the dome, the conductive rods run the entire length of it. They are not used for strengthening purposes because you'll see in some, some sections they are cut but they are they penetrate almost the entirety of this building. The church was, according to mainstream sources, uh, built and or st started construction in 1815, and it took nine years to build. Construction was was finished in around about December 1824, uh, January 1825. However, the same mainstream historians tell us that only ten years later. In 1835, the church was entirely renovated, completely and utterly renovated, for purposes unknown. This is how it stands today. In the Sky Book of Vodoskaya Piatina of 1568, it is mentioned, however, although we are told this was built in 18, well, 1815 it was started, the mention in this, this Vodoskaya Piatina book that there was already a chapel of St Nicholas the Wonder Worker. However, we're told by mainstream historians again that this conveniently burnt to the ground in the beginning of the 19th century. As you can see, the, the famous red brick, the, uh, another fantastic looking structure. Now, as you can see, the damage on this building is, is quite intense. The church was heavily damaged during World War II during the conflict with Finland. The Finns say that it was the Russians, the Soviets that, that destroyed it and shelled it, the, the Soviets say it was the Finns. But as you can see the damage either way was, was quite intense. By 1944 however, the church had been entirely repaired. Only that same year to be destroyed once more. The, the, this, this story doesn't, doesn't quite make sense to me, but that's the story that they tell. The church had previously two two additional side chapels, and once again, these are completely and utterly lost by by the, the the time we get to today. As you can see, the conductive material runs, like I said, the length of the building. Here's another look inside of that dome. Rods are running running through where where once would have been a floor. I'm assuming. The church to the, the the damage to the church itself is is uh, fairly significant, as you can see. Some of these arches, although expertly crafted, the masonry is absolutely impeccable. The 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 damage is quite intense. However, in 2017, the ownership to the church was transferred to the Karelian diocese with promises of restoration. However, these promises have still yet to come to fruition. This upper part of the church that you can see is a, an octahedron drum with a semicircular dome. Just a look at the outside of the church. And like I said, although the, the masonry, look how thick these walls are. Uh, they've withstood some immense shelling. These cavities, again, I can't explain why these cavities would have ex would have existed, but I'm sure they would have served some technological function back back in the the day. And you can see that it's strange that there is two giant antennas. One of them comes actually out of this uh, the bell tower itself, and one on the grounds of the church. But I just found found that strange. And like I said, the masonry is absolutely impeccable. We would struggle to build something to this standard today. 
And again, typical Tartarian architecture, you have your horizontal blocks and then the arches themselves are, are made of uh, vertical blocks. The blocks are placed vertically. Beautiful looking building, the facade by today. This this is a wee bit older, the facade is almost completely gone by by, by today. And like I said, the, the, the two sh uh, side uh, chapels, gone. You would struggle to see where they once sat. There was also a another structure. I don't know if I've got a photo yet. Another uh, like an outbuilding here, but again, it's completely gone. More metallic pieces sticking out, and these rods again, like I said, that run the length of the building through every single part. Here they are here. Look at the thickness of this arch. I'm, I'm a masterpiece. It would have taken a master to create this. And just typical Tartarian architecture. This is. This does not actually belong here. This isn't the right building. So ignore this one. But like I said, the 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 architecture that speaks for itself. This is a, photo, a rare photograph from 1941. This is just the, the, the first time it was supposedly destroyed in the, the Winter War. And as, as I said, these conductive, conductive rods that ran the length of the building must have served some purpose other than for strengthening. And a few of the photographs, I, I, I hope I've got some, you can see that they, they also run the length of the arch. But a chandelier here that does not look like it was designed to hold candles. And 1941 again. This is the state after the the first first lot of conflicts. And here is that that uh, structure, the exterior structure that I was telling you about. An unusual looking one, but we we don't get even a peek at today. Obviously, the first thing to go in these photographs is the the antennas on top of both the bell tower and the dome. And again, you can see a what was once a beautiful structure, an amazing, amazingly designed structure, has been laid to waste. As is the story with the majority of these. 1942, this photograph by Finnish Armed Forces. And how typical is it that we see a ladder <laughs> reach into the upper levels? This is 1943. There's that exterior structure again. The, the remains of another exterior structure. The church, church itself is built on top of a hill, so it can be seen from, from quite a distance, or it can trans transmit energy across quite a distance. But this time, there is a cross on top. The The dome has been somewhat repaired. And I, an extremely, I'm surprised I got to see this, but this is the interior shot. We not only have some extremely unusual looking uh, I'd say that looks technological to me, but some extremely looking object. But there's these metallic rods that suspend banners. Another chandelier that looks very very little like it has to do with candles. But that is the interior as it stood pre the, the, the Finnish Soviet war. Another one of the interior, again. They could be candles, I don't believe they are. Well. As you can see, there is light bulbs on top of these candles, so that, that that sort of explains the situation. Extremely unusual chandelier, but like I said, you can tell that that has nothing to do with candles. The fittings, however, if you remove these these uh, lighting elements, would look like they could house candles, which is, I'm sure, the case with a lot of these chandeliers that we see that remain to today. And again, these conductive beams, I'm sure, had, had something to do with powering these lights. A lot of power it would take to run both these chandeliers, though. If they were powered by conventional means. And look at the beauty inside this chapel. It's, uh, it's extraordinary. But it lays like this today. And like I said, everybody, just a, a quick wee video. Uh, been super busy. I've been been struggling with a couple of, a couple of wee annoying issues as well that's, that's stopped me uploading quite as frequently but hopefully everything will be sorted pronto and I'll be back to uploading every couple of days 
hope you guys enjoyed this one and until the next one peace